嗨，大家好，今天我们在故宫非常荣幸的邀请到了一位来自希腊的著名作家 Mr. Stefan Nagis 来做客我们的栏目，让他给大家打个招呼吧。Hi, Mr. Stefan Nagis, it's a real pleasure to meet you here. It's a real pleasure to me also.、Uh, is this the first time here in China? Yes, it is the first time. Ah, so what's your impression of Beijing? Oh, big city, nice people,、mm -hmm. great civilization.、Um, You know, but what I like most of China is、uh, the pieces of、uh, Lao Tse wisdom that I've been reading for years.、Nice. So I think I'm pretty familiarized、uh, with the Chinese way of thinking. Ah,、oh, so what? What's your impression? What's your opinion of、uh, Chinese way of thinking? What What is that? I think、uh, it is a mixture of、uh, philosophy and poetry. There、mm -hmm. is a metaphorical sense of life.、Mm -hmm. Yes, I like it.、Uh, we know you have written many novels, including some very、um, famous, prize-winning ones. Yes.、Uh, can you tell us, among all the novels you have written, which one is the one you are most proud of?、Uh, normally, I should be proud of、uh, Alexandrian Days, which is a novel、Why? that offered me reputation and、uh, awards. Mm -hmm. But、uh, personally, I'm attracted to some other、uh, novels of mine, such as、um, mm -hmm. *Spelling the Summer* or、um, *The Dance of Illusion*,、mm -hmm. that uh, pushed uh, uh, forward my、uh, fiction. Ah, okay. You know, I also heard、um, like a metaphor, a saying from from others before. They compare、um, writing like、um, cooking. Uh, kind of like many flavors out there, it's how you combine the flavors that makes the difference to set you apart. So, in in your opinion, what do you think is your style? Is your flavors in your novels?、Um, I tried a lot to express myself.、Mm -hmm. um, for example, I couldn't、uh, put、uh, paint on canvas. Mm. So I tried the other way, and I found I could、uh, put、uh, words on paper,、mm -hmm. and that worked perfectly, thanks to God. It's like to write your thoughts with、uh, with fingers, right? With on fingers. Paper. Oh, <laughs> and can you also tell us where do you often get the inspirations for your novels from?、Uh, I think everyone has a quint. Quintessential idea,、mm -hmm. the, uh, summarizing uh, his uh, view of the world.、Mm -hmm. um, you know, it is like a mother that gives birth to books. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But、um, you know, there is of course a divine moment when、uh, an idea comes up.、Mm -hmm. But then you have to work hard. So I would say. This is just this quintessential idea that gave birth to many books.、Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a writer's block when writing something, writing a novel? I always have. And when that happens, what do you、um, often do? I know, you know, you have to wait, and you have、mm -hmm. uh, to spare time,、mm -hmm. and、uh, then、uh, everything works. I see. Just be patient. Wait. Yes, this is the ordinary way. Of、uh, writing a novel, I see. And also, can you share your personal experience with us? In the in the first place, how did you find your passion for writing novels?、Um, I think that、uh, you、uh, writing novel is a destination.、So、you can't do otherwise. How did you find the destination, and when did that? Occurred to you? Ah,、uh, this happened、uh, many years ago. I don't the recall the the moment. Yes. But I think I, I I read some novels and then I said, ah, I will be a writer. Oh. Was so you got that simple? Yes. Got the inspiration, and suddenly you go,、oh, I could become a writer. Then you、yes, started doing、exactly. that. There are also many、um, you know youngsters、um, who would like to follow your footsteps to become a. Novelists like you. Any advice you could give to them?、Uh, beware of、uh, inspiration. 
inspiration. Okay. Yes, um, news, uh, stimulation, inflators, no matter how you uh, call inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, this divine moment when the idea comes up, uh, we shouldn't uh, uh, forget what uh, Walter Benjamin once said. Genius is a toil. You have to work hard mm. in order to uh, do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. I see. So work hard and also uh, to have the persistence, right? To keep yeah. on. The inspiration going. is just a, a little uh, idea, but then it is a hard work to be done. Yeah, there must be, like you mentioned, the exactly. writer's block and. Uh, many difficulties uh, you have yeah. to keep up going until you finish writing writing a novel right? yeah okay and also know you are um, um, uh, you have also translated many novels into Greek right yes and uh, can you also tell us about that um, we usually say that translation is the art of Babel Babel is the ancient uh, city oh, okay and uh, you know translation is some sort of diplomacy. You have to be a good diplomat. You have to be a peacemaker mm. uh, between two languages. Yes, yes. There are some uh, differences who seem to be unbridgeable, mm -hmm. but uh, w one good translator knows how to make these uh, differences uh, uh, um, a good point. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, also are there um, specific like challenges or difficulties that you have um, encountered uh, during translating the work? Yeah, so many. Okay. But uh, as uh, I told you, you have to be a good peacemaker. Mm. Uh, you have to uh, understand how uh, two different languages uh, can uh, work together. Yeah. And so then there is no problem. I see, I see. So you have to really understand two languages very well, then differentiate yes, them. This then is the secret. Make the translation uh, really yes. affluent, right? Yeah. Okay. And also know you uh, you are teaching a course called Creative Writing. Is that right? Yes. Uh, and uh, can you also tell us uh, a bit about that? Uh, what do you like about uh, creative, creative writing? Creative writing is both the pleasure of uh, playing with words and ideas. Mm -hmm as well as the um, task of playing the game uh, properly. Mm, and how, <laughs> it, how it can be done properly? Uh, I think uh, we have to read m much if we want to be good authors. You know, uh, it is reading that gives uh, writing birth. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that we say uh, often that um, uh, a society that doesn't uh, write novels doesn't even read them, uh, but this is vice versa. Um, vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, a, a society that doesn't read novels doesn't write good novels. Mm. Okay, well, that's that's quite a good way to explain it. Yeah, uh, can you also share some of your future plans with us. Ah, uh, now I'm thinking over uh, too many things but mm. uh, I feel also that uh, I feel like um, having uh, time off uh, to rest mm -hmm. this is uh, I need most for the present for the moment and and perhaps when you during the time you're resting you may get inspiration for your next novel mm, yes it's probable <laughs> uh, <laughs> before we finish up here do you have any other words you would like to say to our Chinese audience um, I like chi uh, the Chinese people I seem to me uh, very f warm people they have the same metaphorical sense of life as we have in Greece so I wish you all the best for the future. Mm, thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking the interview. It's a real honor. Thank you.